Apple is about to disrupt the entire smart ring industry to take the throne away from Aura, who has clearly been the market leader since 2015. But Apple needs to act fast because Samsung has already revealed their brand new innovative Galaxy Ring. So in this video, I'm gonna explain six reasons why I believe Apple will dominate the smart ring market. But first, I have to give you guys the evidence for why I'm claiming that their new smart ring is now now confirmed. First of all, I used a smart ring from a company named RingCon last summer, and I was absolutely blown away by how accurately it was able to detect my heart rate, my steps, and even my stress levels. I even tested it looking at my stress results, and they legitimately matched up to my most stressful times of the day, and my least stress moments were when I was driving to work listening to music, so it all matched up. It even tracked my sleep with incredible accuracy matching up to the times when I remember waking up at night, and best of all, the battery life lasted for seven days nonstop and was very comfortable to wear. So in my opinion, this is the perfect product category for Apple to get into, and I think they're going to dominate. So now let's get into the leaks for the Apple Smart Ring, which I think is gonna be even better. Just the other day, we got a new leak from Electronic Times, who recently said that Apple has been paying attention to the Smart Ring market to see if it's worth entering into. Heck yes. Aura announced back in March of 2022 that they sold over 1 million rings, and I think Apple is gonna do much better than that, which I'll explain why in just a minute. But back to the leak, they claim that it's likely that commercialization is imminent for this new Apple Smart Ring, especially due to the large number of patents related to an NFC-enabled finger-worn device that has been popping up more and more in recent months. These patents have been around for for many years, but it was widely accepted that it would actually be destined for a future mixed reality headset, with the ring being used as a controller for it. But guess what? Now that Apple's Vision Pro headset has been out on the market for three weeks now, we know 100% that all of the connection between the ring and the VR headset in the patents wasn't real at all because Apple's vision for the Vision Pro was to have no controller at all, just your eyes and your hands. So this can only mean one thing. All of those smart ring patents that are still coming out to this day were not destined for a mixed reality headset at all. It was all a front for what Apple was truly cooking up a smart ring competitor to the Aura Ring. For reason number one, Apple's been working on this for years, which is clear from all of their patents, and we know that when Apple works on something for a long time, they always come out with a product that tops everything else on the market in terms of the hardware. Apple made the Vision Pro, and they were able to pack an incredibly dense amount of hardware into a relatively thin package, so I believe Apple's ring will be thinner than the rest of the options on the market. It'll look better, it'll have better materials, or if not being thinner, then it's gonna have by far the best battery life because Apple specializes in making technology and chipsets and logic boards really, really tiny and efficient in terms of the space. Now for reason number two, Apple is not gonna have a paid subscription model for their smart ring, which will instantly make it a lot more attractive than the new Aura ring, which you have to pay for each month. For reason number three, the Apple ecosystem itself is gonna get so many people to buy this smart ring because all of your health data will be synced within your health app and with all of your other devices. For example, it's gonna be able to track your steps and close your rings, no longer requiring you to have your Apple Watch on at all times. It'll also be able to track your sleep activity while being incredibly comfortable, basically unnoticeable at night, and this is great because the battery life will likely last at least a week. Many people, including my wife, take off their Apple Watch and charge every single night since they've been using it all day and the battery life is usually drained by the end of the day, so sleep tracking simply doesn't work with the Apple Watch unless you deliberately take it off early in the evening, charge it in advance, 
every night, which is really annoying to have to do. So a smart ring that you don't notice at all is obviously the best option of all for sleep tracking. On top of that, I believe that Apple will invent some sort of skin ID feature, which will be able to authenticate that it's you, potentially allowing you to unlock your other Apple devices or even pay with Apple Pay using just the ring itself. Imagine going to the grocery store and tapping the little NFC machine with just your Apple Smart Ring. You basically never have to worry about forgetting potentially your wallet, your iPhone, or even your Apple Watch. You have your cash on you at all times on your ring. Now getting into reason number four, Apple is so powerful in terms of their marketing that it can get people to use products that they never would have used if it wasn't for for Apple. For example, there are millions of people who wear Apple watches even though they never liked or never worn regular watches in the past, but because it's an Apple product that's become a fashion statement with lots of good use cases like receiving texts and phone calls on your watch, people buy it by the millions. So I believe there will be millions of Apple users who will buy their new smart ring just because it's another useful Apple product even though they never showed interest in smart rings before. For reason number five, I believe Apple smart ring is gonna be the most sensor packed by far, being able to measure more health metrics and detect more medical conditions than any other smart ring, sort of like how the Apple Watch can detect heartbeat issues, take ECGs, and much more. We also have patents showing that Apple's new smart ring will feature sensors that can detect heart rate, blood oxygen, blood pressure, and more. So I personally think most people would much rather go with an Apple ring over all the other options on the market, even if it's more expensive just because of the trust with Apple's privacy and security. And for reason number six, I believe that the Apple Smart Ring is gonna be by far the most comfortable option on the market due to some specific patents they filed for which solves a major problem that current Smart Rings suffer from. In order to get accurate sensor readings on any Smart Ring, the sensors have to be positioned in the correct orientation, but the issue is that throughout the day, the ring can actually spin around without you noticing. Noticing it. That's precisely what happened when I used the Rincon Smart Ring, where I would check out my health data for the day and it would show nothing at all. And then I would check the ring and sure enough, it rotated around and positioned the wrong way. Yes, it does have these two little dimples, but you get so used to wearing it that I didn't notice it at all. Now back to Apple, they filed a patent that shows that they actually have an inner and outer ring, and you could actually spin the outer ring without the inner ring moving. So I believe that Apple's gonna make it so that the inner portion doesn't get affected when the outside spins, making sure that it's always positioned correctly, no matter what, and it's always gonna be really fun to spin it around. So with all that said, I think Apple Smart Ring is likely coming within the next year or so, with Apple likely being eager to compete with Aura and Samsung sooner than later, and I think it's gonna sell the best out of all of them. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video, click the circle above to subscribe and check out more videos right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.